On my first day in Wellington, New Zealand, I interviewed people at the Wellington Sevens, where every Kiwi was on their best behavior. Today, I'm going to interview people around the city and do a fan meetup at the Bucket Fountain. I assume by now, they're all full of puke. Yesterday was the Wellington Sevens. What are you most ashamed of doing yesterday? <laughs> I may have had to have a tactical vom at the end of the day, but... Um, <laughs> a tactical vom? <laughs> Made myself feel a bit better this morning. What low point in your life did you hit yesterday? I watched my neighbours smash a window, and then they all kicked the glass out, and I saw nine boys pee off a balcony. I actually did see people puking on the street at 3pm on my bus into town. I saw more hairy male ass than I'd like to admit. And you're from LA, that's amazing. Tell me about the sevens. How many dudes did you hook up with? So many. No, none. Um, <laughs> I didn't attend the sevens. I just worked all day. Not really into the whole kind of dressing up in costumes and making a dick of myself. You missed about 40 people running up to my microphone saying, Fuck her right in the pussy. Oh, that would've been great. When did you take your walk of shame? 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m.? <laughs> 4 a.m. You were working security during the sevens. Did you have any incidents yesterday? Um, to find incident. Just a lot of drunk, sexist men. Some guy tried to kiss me and I was just like, fuck off. <laughs> but if he didn't try to kiss you, you'd be sad. I wouldn't be sad, I'd be very happy. He stank. Like right now, I bet you're so bummed out that I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm really not. <laughs> Tell me about Wellington. Um, well, Wellington's the capital city of New Zealand. <laughs> It's, uh, so you're the Wikipedia page for yeah, Wellington. I'm the Wikipedia page for Wellington. It's really windy. Pretty windy. It's windy. The I slogan should be, Wellington blows. <laughs> I think windy Wellington works better. This is a place where you can be who you want to be and no one's going to judge you. Do you think you'll ever be as hip as Auckland? Oh, we're hipper than Auckland. It's full of assholes. There's a reason they call it Dorkland. Auckland sucks. Auckland's basically just a big shithole and it's soulless. It doesn't really have a soul, it's just sort of boring. spread out and it's very boring. I reckon the people down here are kind of nicer. They say hello and stuff, whereas Aucklanders... I'm from Auckland, so I can say this, um... They say, fuck you! <laughs> Not quite to that extreme. If you meet someone from Auckland, they're usually douchebag. What do you recommend people visit in Wellington? Cuba Street, the waterfront. My house is pretty cool, if anyone wants to come <laughs> over. Cool, everybody go to his house. I regret saying that. <laughs> I know there's a bunch of Lord of the Rings and Hobbit related stuff at the airport. Like they've got the um, the big eagles and like a golem and stuff reaching out over the top of it, which is kind of cool. It's a great welcoming face when you arrive in New Zealand. Welcome to New Zealand, precious! Yeah, yeah. I love how in the Te Papa Museum, you have Azog the Defiler, like a big statue of the Pale Orc from The Hobbit. This is our greatest warrior in New Zealand. Yeah, I think he's the favorite. Why is there a statue of a naked man by the Te Papa Museum? I honestly don't know. I see it. Oh, no, I really don't know. You've seen it, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? Quite a few gays in Wellington, but I don't know if it's related to that or... I have no I'm idea. not too sure what's, what that is to do with. <laughs> is that naked statue a testament to the Wellington Sevens? <laughs> It may very well be. You know, a lot of people watching might not know anything about New Zealand. Tell my audience something about New Zealand. Um, our, track re our track record on, on, you know, treating our indigenous peoples, making up for colonialism, is better than a lot of places, but still not that great. You should try giving them casinos. N no, that's, that's, that would be racist, I think. <laughs> we gave our indigenous people casinos, and now everything's cool. <laughs> Actually, I, uh, after this, I have some statistics I could show you. I heard the sun is really harsh here. Yeah, we've got a hole in our ozone layer. Well, since you already have a hole, you don't have to recycle anymore then, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you have with you here? It's like an amp? Is this is my, my, my busking setup. I play music. That's my thing. This could work out great because I do freestyle rap. Oh, fuck. We should definitely, we should definitely jam. I'll audition for you. Give me a suggestion and I'll rap about it. Uh... About ISIS. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, regret, I regret that. Well, right now we're in a Middle Eastern crisis, so I guess I'm gonna have to take on ISIS. Oh. oh my god, it's another Vietnam when I fly over them and I drop the bomb. Yeah, that's right, you are not going home. You are all alone because I just got my drone pilot in the air and they killed you all. I look at you all and I grab my balls. Keep on rhyming and you aren't gonna stop it. We formed a new group, Joe and the Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fucking amazing. Yeah, no. Nah. You have a sexy voice. I love it. When you call me Tay Papa. Let's get drunk. I'm an internet person. Whoa, ho, ho. no, he didn't. Big fan of gluten free cereal. Coincidentally, I um, have just recently finished uh, working for two years in a meat processing plant where I cut sheep's fucking heads off. I don't know what my response here is supposed to be.
continued. Subscribe to Joe Goes. Subscribe to Joe Goes. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Why do you have a bucket fountain? Why not? <laughs> when a guy tries to kiss you, he's just trying to give you a compliment with his mouth. But don't you give compliments through the mouth anyway? I also noticed Fred Flintstone is a super popular costume. Yeah, I did notice that one. Maybe it's some kind of social commenter on how we're still in the dark ages. <laughs> Where would I go in Wellington to find a kid whose only wish for Christmas is to make a friend? I want you guys to be my posse and follow me around all the time. Cool, give us your details. Do you have any questions about America? What's with the cheese in the can? I don't get that. What, what is the appeal of cheese in a can? Uh, it's cheese in a can? Yeah, but it's awful looking. It's, it's... It's delicious. It's liquid cheese. Cheese is meant to be a solid. It's like you slice it and you can't slice cheese in a can. It's a cheese explosion in your mouth. You can... It's awful. I call it chizzing. <laughs> Just get a can of cheese and chiz all over. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one way to say it, I suppose. I love Battle Shame. You, <laughs> you should come and look it at it.